Okay. Hmm. Who was that? The write-in candidate. We were going to try to see if he was interested in an alternate yeah. position. Mm -hmm. The one that guy had for a while. He's not interested <coughs> in it? No, so his mother Shame. and father must have wrote him in. He had two votes. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Freddie, no pressure. Whenever you're ready. All right. 6.59. All right. Good evening. We'd like to open the planning board meeting of Wednesday, July 26th at 7 p.m. Dudley Municipal Complex. And tonight we have uh, Pam Humphrey, clerk to the board. We have uh, Guy Horn, member, Kevin Sullivan, member, Mark Marziotti, chairman, and Don Johnson, town planner. Moving right on into our agenda, we've got item A, <coughs> approval of uh, meeting minutes, June 14th and July 12th. Looking for a motion to uh, have both those minutes approved. July 12th actually wasn't, wasn't, wasn't quite finished. John's still working on those. Okay, so, so we only have June 14th. Thank you, Don. Mr. Chairman, I've read the minutes and I would like to make a motion to approve the minutes with one minor change. Um, on the header of the minutes, it was still listed uh, Marsha Wagner as vice chairman, and that should be uh, removed and have Mr. Sullivan's name put on that. Can you change the letterhead, in other words? Did I? Mm -hmm. Change the letterhead, in other words? Yeah, change, change the letterhead. Other than that, everything else looked good. So make a motion to approve the minutes with the minor change. Okay, and I know that the other two members were not here. However, if they did read the minutes, they certainly have the uh, uh, ability to uh, second the motion. And we're doing, which no. one are we doing? The 14th? Oh, you the were 14th. here on the we 14th. Were here, yeah. Okay, I'll, sorry. I'll second that motion. Yep. yep. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Okay, and you'll circulate a couple of those, Don, for us to sign, or are they in here? I think they're in yours, actually. Okay. Yep, I have them. Just grab your pen, too. Yep. Okay, while we sign those, we will uh, move on to item B, our reorganization of the board. Every year, every year when there's uh, new elected members, we uh, reorganize the board. Uh, again, current, um, current hierarchy today is um, Mark Marziotti, chairman. Uh, we do not have a vice chairman. That was um, Marsha Wagner, who uh, is no longer on the board. Pam Humphrey, Humphrey clerk to the board. Sean Guerin, who is not present tonight, member. Guy Horn, member. And Kevin Sullivan, member. So I would like to um, make a recommendation for uh, Guy Horn to be uh, vice chairman of the uh, planning board here in Dudley. I'll second that. Okay, we got a motion and a second to uh, have Guy Horn be vice chairman uh, of the Dudley Planning Board. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to have uh, Mark Maziotti as uh, continue on as our chairman. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion to keep Mark Maziotti as chairman, and we have a second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Mr. Chairman, I'd also like to make a motion that we uh, ask Pam Humphrey to continue on as clerk to the board. Okay. Oh, we have a I motion. That. Okay, we have a motion and a second to uh, have Pam Humphrey assume the, the uh, position of clerk to the board. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Great. Thanks. Thank you uh, all board members for 
regardless of the position or title uh, for your participation. It's um, truly an honor to have you on the board with us. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Item C. We are, uh, every year, again, during election time, we have the appointment of a planning board delegate to uh, the Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, CMRPC. And um, we usually ask if there's anyone who's particularly interested. Um, and then if we don't get any votes, we usually nominate our newest members generally. But uh, anyway, I'll leave it, I'll open it for discussion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll volunteer for the position. Perfect. It so worked out great. So you're all the planning stuff. Most definitely. So, so Don, do you know, can you give a little bit of a, a little detail on what the, um, the delegate uh, is responsible for? Delegate is re um, representing the town's interest before the uh, CMRPC, basically to uh, attend the meetings and give the town's input on the uh, issues they work on and get the, uh, and the uh, meetings that they attend, uh, give the uh, town the opportunity to find out what's going on in their workings with the CMRPC and also to uh, Okay, and how often do they meet? Um, I think it's monthly. I'm not, I'm not positive. Okay. How often do they meet? It's at least four times a year. I'm not sure if it's monthly or not. Yeah. Also, I don't know if they say in that. Is it saying that narrative that goes with the form? Um, exactly. It mentions in the bottom that uh, Miss Wagner attended one of the commission's four quarterly meetings. So, maybe on a quarterly basis. Is it quarterly meetings? Yeah, it's quarterly. Yeah. Okay. And there may be some others uh, in between, but it uh, sounds like it's more of a quarterly uh, appointment. So, <clears throat> well, regardless, thank you, Kevin, for uh, stepping up. I think that it'll be a good uh, learning experience for you, and um, uh, you'll be a good representative for the town of Dudley. Thank you as well. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So do we need something signed here, Don, for that, or? Uh, Take a like his, say and just some yeah. information from him. Just okay. sign, sign the form and fill up the form, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you say we do have to vote on it? I would vote on it. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate um, Mr. Sullivan as the uh, Central Mass Regional Planning Delegate from the Planning Board. Okay, we have a motion. I'll second that motion. We have a motion and a second to uh, appoint Mr. Sullivan as the delegate to the CMRPC. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous? Great. Okay, so item D was uh, consideration of an appointment, um, of the appointment of an alternate planning board member. Um, even with a five member board, it's always good to have an alternate uh, planning board member. Um, there's limitations on what an alternate can uh, participate in, um, specifically zoning issues. With special permits. Special permits. And we did have um, a write-in candidate during our last election. Our planner has reached out to um, that, that candidate and asked if uh, they had interest in becoming the alternate, and they, um, they did not. So... Um, we're still on the hunt for an <coughs> alternate, so if there's someone out there that knows anyone who might be interested in that position or is interested themselves, please see the town planner during planner hours. Thank you. Item E, uh, request of Dudley's Trail and Greenway Network for a letter of support for the National Park Service grant application. Hope you all had a chance to look at the material that was sent I've, had, I've drafted a letter. We can see what we think about it. We can either sign it, amend it, or pass that out. Do you have that letter, or is it in here? It's, it's right here. 
Isn't this it? No, it's, yeah, but no. he it's prepared one, I guess, for yeah. us to Thank sign. You. Oh, oh, oh. You got two copies there? Uh, yeah, two copies. Okay. Or two more. Some of the wording I took out of here was based on the wording in a couple of the recent town meeting town uh, town annual reports for planning board. So, all right, good. Yeah. So each year, the the planning board is asked to uh, support the uh, Dudley Trail and Greenway. Rail Trail was called, uh, and we've always done so. Um, Mr. Bakevich is uh, very, very active and um, is, uh, has done an amazing job in the town of Dudley in um, developing these trails, rail trails, uh, that were, uh, if anyone has been so fortunate to walk on, are just uh, really great, and it wouldn't be uh, available if it weren't for uh, Mr. Butkevich's um, effort. So uh, I certainly am in support, but looking for a, uh, a motion of support and uh, some signatures if we're interested. Yeah. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we uh, send a letter uh, on behalf of the Delhi Trail and Greenway Network um, in support of this. Uh, I think it's an applicant, is it? in their application for the grant. Mm -hmm. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have um, a motion and a second to uh, support the uh, Dudley Rail Trail letter of support for the uh, grant application. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. You just need one, Don? Just, just yours, yeah. Okay. All right, item F, request of Tony Secura to establish a performance guarantee for the release of lots within Pierpont Estates. Well, town Council is reviewing the letter of credit right now. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we took care of the vote the last meeting. Right. I just wanted to bring that up just in case something else came up. But as it stands right now, there's a signed release of uh, six lots he's looking to build on. You got a memo, it's in your, it's in your notebook from Jeff Walsh saying that he approved the last phase of work that was done, the, uh, the base quarter pavement. And so the amount that we set is, is valid. The amount of credits made up for that amount. I'm reviewing it for legality issues with town council hopefully tomorrow morning. So we should, probably by the end of the day tomorrow, we'll have it all set and ready to record the, the uh, release of lots and he has building permits. Okay, just as a reminder, we um, we approve the release of the lots contingent upon a favorable review of of this document, right? Letter of credit, yes. Okay. That's right. And so it's in our hands. Town Council's reviewing it, and they could be approved as soon as tomorrow. That's correct. All right. Once Town Council approves it, and make sure the treasurer approves it as well, then we'll uh, file it with right. the treasurer and keep a copy and issue the release of the lots for building. So okay. So we're just about set. Great. Any questions on that board? Okay. All right, great. Um, this kind of is always an agenda item. Um, Don, if you want to give us an update on discussion of finishing construction of the acceptance of uncompleted and unaccepted subdivision streets. We've been in touch with David Charetti. He has to, he's doing the, uh, the deed for the conveyance of the, of the, the street. That's Dave's way? Yeah. You should be working on that. We'll, the the selectmen will take care of that once it's done. Town council will review the deed, and if it's if it's appropriate, the selectmen will vote to do the taking and record everything at the registry of deeds, and we should be all set to go. All right. I was in contact with um, was it Dan. I, I'm sorry, I can't remember his last name. The uh, developer of the. Uh, oh, Dan Heaney. Dan Heaney, yeah, the developer of that subdivision. Eisenhower, Eisenhower Drive. Road. Mm. Yeah. 
and he's going to get back to me next week just talk about meeting with the playing board the following week I told him the meeting was the 9th and the 23rd I believe it is anyway it's the he will probably be in coming on the 9th to talk to the board about what he should do about the procedure for finishing and how he wants to approach that and also I believe George Sling will be coming in as well at time to talk about Tobin Farm Estates and get that, get that order accepted okay I expect those two in next week. Great. There was a request from um, Ian Guyon to see what we could do to get to have him get some work done on Misty Meadows Drive, I believe it's called Misty Meadows Subdivision anyway. One of the catch basins was like dislocated, the frame is sticking up. Um, I wanted to know if we could use the bond for that. Well, it's probably not really the case because I talked to uh, Greg as well. Town administrator, and we said was that we were we're entitled to do it. We have to do it for public safety purposes. But the minimum we should do the minimum that's necessary. It's not we're bringing up to the final you know final condition or anything. We just have to do it repair for public safety purposes. That that developer went bankrupt about two years. Oh, he went bankrupt. Yeah. Yeah. But this so the only way to manage it is through the through through the bond. I would get. I, well, I don't think there's a bond, but there is money in the account, right? I think there was money in the account. Some was probably released last year, but it looks like yeah. it's yeah. a little over a year ago. So that's one to, to try to find out the status. It sounds like we don't have enough in the account to finish the subdivision, right? No. No, probably not. I'll have to work with town council on ultimately because of the bankruptcy. But as far as the repair, just to bring you up to date, um, Greg Valcona said today that the town will do the repair, but only to the... To the Degree that it has to do it for public safety purposes, not to bring it up to final, you know, right. final everything. Mm. So, I just have a I'll quick in touch question. with the highway superintendent on that, and we'll see what we can do. If the uh, developer went bankrupt, so that means it's our street now, correct? We're responsible for, for doing everything with it? It's a kind of a gray area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The developer would like you to think so. <laughs> I mean, if, if he's may, not the around anymore. The bankruptcy court may have taken his money. I don't know. There was a whole list of uh, bankruptcy court proceedings that I had, I had printed out. I, have we been plowing it in the winter, do you know? We've been plowing for a few have. years, yes. Strictly plowing, not, you know. <coughs> yeah, routine so uh, ultimately the responsibility is not the town's. Um, however, you know, it's in our town, and the taxpaying residents are in that development. Really, the responsibility lies on that developer. I suppose what we could do would be to notify residents can Sorry. sue him or whatever. To but if there's nothing there, then yeah, there's exactly. nothing there. Yeah, exactly. I suppose what we could do is to notify the building inspector. He shouldn't issue any more permits until we straighten out the bond situation. There's there's no more lots to build on. I think there were couple lots that were going to be conservation lots but it turns out the title five changed so they could probably build on them now they the the lots that are that were not built on were bought by a butters by a butters you mean to combine yeah okay as far as i know okay anything else i'm not real all right you have more but just not about that right all right, sounds good. All right, thanks for the update, Don. So, has um, have you guys decided if you want to come before us tonight? Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. Carl Gehring on behalf of Verizon Wireless. So I discussed with our team, and we would respectfully like to continue two weeks to your August 9th meeting where hopefully you'll have a full five member board. This is a very important site for Verizon. Delaying two weeks will not burden us and we'd rather be safe and have the full board present if it's all right with you folks. Absolutely, it's not an issue. Again, there's, uh, there's never a guarantee that there'll be a five member board here. We do have many new members now and so I'm pretty confident that we will. We had planned that for tonight but up until a half hour before our meeting, we found out that we weren't. So no, I know it's hard, and especially yeah. in the summer. I saw on your agenda item, and I apologize because I was probably out 
and, and missed it. Uh, there was a discussion about potentially appointing a new member or a new alternate or something. Is that? Yeah, is that an alternate. Um, but an alternate can um, only vote on special permit, nothing else. Okay, which is what we've got here, so. All right. But it's, uh, so the, the dialogue was that we had a write-in candidate in our last election and uh, we reached out to that person and asked if they were interested in an alternate because it's not an elected position and uh, they declined. Mm. And then the other uh, question I had, and I was talking to Mr. Johnson about it, is has the town subscribed to the so-called Mullen rule where if, say, say we were to proceed tonight and there with only four and then it got continued for some reason, but then one of you was out, now we're only down to three, well now we don't have the quorum. But if, uh, the, if there was the Mullen rule adopted, that person could watch the video and come up to speed. Does the town adopt that? Yes. Okay. Okay, so even then, the next time, if we decide to proceed with four, we at least we're covered there that you can catch up by watching the tape and so right. forth. So the Board of Selectmen formally adopted that. Is that in the town bylaws? Yes, they, 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 they signed us up for that, basically. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, so August 9th then at the yeah. same time? Uh, yep. Uh, not sure where they'd sit on the agenda, but... Um, 7, 7 15 is usually here. 7 15. Yeah. Okay. Th thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Sorry to have you guys come out and we're not all here. Okay. Thanks. All right. Take a vote to continue the hearing until, until August 9th, 2017 yep. at 7 15 p.m. Same place. That's fine. Did you guys hear that? Well, yeah. We're looking, we're looking to um, take a vote, take a vote uh, just to continue the, uh, the public hearing. Well, you have to open it first. Okay. Open it, and then we'll vote to continue it. Okay. So we still have to open it. Did we, did we get through H yet? Is people here for H? Um, they call. I called. And no, I didn't yeah, get a response. Right. So no response. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. I just yeah. I just wanted to see if they didn't want to hold them up if that was the case. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, so yeah, moving on the the agenda. Don H. Um, Phoenix Partnership. That's they're just not. They had told me that they were probably going to be filing an application the first of August. I asked them if they wanted the opportunity to come in and do the pre-application meeting, but they may ask to waive that. We've already met with. Uh, Nelson Burlingame and myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, they were on the agenda last last month or last meeting as well, but it was a similar situation, wasn't it? I think there was a family issue on that one. We engineer. Okay. Okay. All right. And he said at the time that he planned on submitting the application because he met with Nelson and me, so felt like he was getting himself. I'm do with the application. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll move off of H on to I. Discussion on the status of economic development planning. Well, I missed. I missed the meeting. I was really looking forward to with the economic development commission on the 21st because of my uh, extended stay. Mm -hmm. But. We're going to go right back into it. I met with the uh, representative. It's actually Doni, who used to work for the, right. the board. I met with her on, um, a week before that meeting with the schedule with the uh, DC. And uh, I got a pretty good idea what I'm going to be doing. And I'll be looking at the census data, working primarily on that, coming up with the uh, input on that, and uh, whatever else I can do with them. Hopefully we have something we can sort of meet with the uh, DC on next month if they're meeting at the third Wednesday, whatever day that is. We go from there and make a public presentation of some type, SWOT analysis, whatever it may be, in September. Okay. All right, yeah, I'd like to know when the, I mean, that was supposed to be a joint meeting and between you and I think I wasn't there, and I think there were a couple others that weren't. You were the only one who went, right? Or I was there, actually. And yes, I think Lasher went, too. 
to what, what was happening? Yeah, Marsha was there. The uh, joint meeting with the uh, economic oh, development. Oh, I was there too. Yeah. You were there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. Marsha's on the board, so she was definitely okay. there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I was, so you were the only one that with was there. Yeah. Myself and Don. Okay. All right, good. So um, if there's um, any update, I'd like to know about it I, I'm, I'm sorry that I missed it I think it's a great uh, a great thing that was That's an happening. interesting meeting it was yeah. a very good mm -hmm. meeting yeah sure. so let's find out what they uh, what the the next steps are Don. and you know it sounds like there's some interest um, on this board to maybe participate in some of their events some of their meetings whatever so maybe you can share with us when they meet uh, what the you know the next steps are and See if maybe we can follow that if we have interest. Well, the next meeting will be, it should be on the 16th. They meet the third Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven o'clock. All right. If we think we may have a quorum, I'll post it as a planning board, joint planning board meetings of some kind. If what? If we think we'll have a quorum of the planning board, I'll post it in some ways of joint meeting with the planning board, whatever it may be. We only need three for a quorum, correct? Right. Three of us? We need three, so but if three of these show up at that meeting, it's a planning board meeting, too. Why did they? Oh, this, their, what was their, the difference? Their, their, their um, permit requires a supermajority vote, so four out of five oh, would this have one. to vote that so way. Had so if one vote. person on the okay. board votes no, hmm. they wouldn't get their permit. I get it, okay. So they want a full board, so they have, they have a, you know, a better, better percentages. Yeah, they have a 20% better Makes chance sense. of getting what they're looking for. Okay. So discussion on use, I don't think there's really anything left here to discuss. So you probably can remove this one, Don, but discussion on the use of remaining green communities funds. I think we're good, right? I have to wait till the town administrator gets back from his. From? Mm -hmm. We'll be for the next two weeks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Very good. We'll wait on that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open the uh, public hearing and then we're going to close it. No. Nope. Um, we're going to continue it. Yeah. Recess it. Just continue it for two weeks. Um, anyone have schedules? I mean, August 9th. As far as I know, I should. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. That's a Wednesday night. Yeah, I'll be in Boston on a cruise. All right. <laughs> Just thought of that. So what are they, what will we? They're going to be right back where they are. Yeah. Well, well I have a cell phone. Should I call them up? And I tell them to get back here? <laughs> Just that we either meet next week or the week after. Or instead. Well, next week, the week after that is the week after that is the 23rd. Yeah, the ninth. I will. I will not be here. The company has a dinner cruise for people who've worked 15, 20, or 25 years, and I finally made 15. So you can't miss that. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I. I mean, there were many people, and I'm sure they've all dispersed, and we'll be here for another half hour or whatever to call them back. I don't think that's the right thing to do at this point so we shared with them the risk of you know moving so and yeah, you can just let them let them know Don if they want to wait it yeah I want to go four weeks out if they want to bump it to the what the 23rd but give them that option they would have no to. guarantee on the 23rd <coughs> I'll be here on the 23rd me on the 9th I should be here on both too I should be no we don't know what's sorry, going on with sorry Sean. about that I just realized right. that Okay, oh. familiar and heard it oh, okay, I'll I'll call him and let him know. Probably what he'd be doing he probably we probably asked for that to be a written request from him. We would just to make sure we don't go past the sixty five day deadline. Yeah. Right. I want to make that written request from him to submit that day that we could file with the town clerk. Yeah, we should we should also note in when we um, vote to continue this, that it was at the at the request of the applicant. Okay. All right. So. Uh, 
good evening. Uh, we'd like to open the. Uh, we would like to open a public hearing application for wireless tower special permit 36 Hall Road, Selco Partnership, Verizon Wireless at 7.30 p.m. In accordance with the provisions of Mass General Law, Chapter 40A, Section 9 and 11, the Town of Dudley Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, July 26, 2017 at 7.15 p.m. in the Dudley Municipal Complex, room 321A, DMC Veterans Memorial Hall, 71 West Main Street, Dudley, Mass, 01571, on the application of Selco Partnership, DBA Verizon Wireless, 118 Flanders Road, Westboro, Mass, 01581, for a special permit under Section 11 and other application, uh, applicable sections of the Dudley zoning bylaws to install a new personal wireless service facility on land at 36 Hall Road, northwest corner of Hall Road and West Main Street in Dudley, further described as Assessor's Map 121, Lot 1718 and 20, located in the Industrial 130 Zoning District. The applicant proposes to construct 110-foot tall monopole tile style tower which will include a 50 foot by 50 foot fenced site compound at the base of the tower. The site compound will house Verizon wireless radio equipment as well as a diesel fueled standby power generator which will be used to keep the site on air should the power failure occur in the neighborhood. Ground space for future co-locations will be provided as well. A copy of the application and accompanying plans and documents may be viewed at the Dudley Planning Office or the Town, o town Clerk's Office, which are located at the Dudley, Dudley Municipal Complex, 71 West Main Street, Dudley, Mass, 01571, during regular business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard on the application should appear at the time and place designated. Mark Marziotti, Chairman, Dudley Planning Board. It ran two times in two consecutive weeks, July 11th, 2017 in July 18th, 2017 in which paper, Don? Was that the? Yeah, Worcester. Telegram? Worcester Telegram Gazette. Okay. okay. <clears throat> um, so there's, um, so the applicant has decided to um, postpone the public hearing until the 8th of August, uh, the 9th of August, and um, we just realized that the 9th of August there would not be um, a full board, and that was the reason why they wanted to postpone it. So our town planner is going to uh, make the recommendation of the 23rd, which it appears that certainly the four board members that are here today uh, would be available, and hopefully the 5th would be as well. So. Um, I guess at this point we would how how would we uh, make a motion to close the uh, to um, <coughs> to yeah, continue. I think you can recess and continue yeah. until um, August 9th and even if it's just a quorum, simple quorum I think you can do it as a business item I can check on that if you need to but I think you can continue it as a business item until the 23rd you know, it's simple call number three, just right. just for the, for the sake of, of that. Yes, yeah, so you, you don't have to. You don't have to re-advertise it. We should get a we should get an authorization from the applicant too, because I, I'm not sure if it goes past the 65 days. And right. I think since we opened it tonight, it's covered. But just to be sure, we don't want to get into that any kind of glitch like that. Yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion that we continue the public hearing until August 9th for the uh, Verizon wireless uh, cell phone tower, uh, 36 Hall Road. I'll second that motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second to continue the public hearing um, at the uh, request of the applicant for Selco Partnerships Verizon Wireless, 36 Hall Road. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous.
Okay. Moving on. Uh, planner's plate, item K. Well, as we said, I'm continuing to try to work with some of the subdividers to see if we can get some of these streets up to speed and accepted. And hopefully they'll, uh, at least two of them will be in on the 9th to discuss with the board what their plans are. Um, we're working the others as well as, as we go and see what we can do. Um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm working on the economic development uh, with with CMRPC and to determine what our assets are as part of a presentation which will presumably take place on the uh, third Wednesday in, in September. Probably a SWOT analysis. Is anybody familiar with, anybody familiar with the SWOT analysis? Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and mm -hmm. threats? You get more information on that if you like. Anyway, um, the green communities, I'm not really sure where that's going at this point, if we're going to pursue too much on that in the, in the near future, but we have some, we have about $30,000 left in that grant to, to utilize in the program, so we'll see what goes from here. Um, we spoke about the subdivisions that I'm currently working on. Um, I'll continue to collect information on cell tower and ultimately we'll be doing a standard zoning decision, which is, is not, I don't do them quite the, I didn't, didn't look quite the way that they're, they've done in the past here, but I think that this is a specific format that you should follow. You should have a statement of uh, what, what the application is, consists of. You should have a statement of findings and a, a record of the vote with, with uh, special conditions, if any. And it has to uh, make reference to Section 17 of Chapter 40A, in case the someone wants to appeal, as we followed the town clerk within 14 days of the date of, of the vote on the decision. And then the, town, the 21 days from the date that's filed with the town clerk, there's an appeal period. If the appeal period is, uh, goes past 21 days, there's, there's no appeal. It gets recorded at the Registry of Deeds. And the applicant can proceed. That's the way it works. So. Okay. What else? Anything else? Are you um, feeling caught up from your time out? <laughs> kind yeah, of. Kind of. Uh, have you? Um, are, are you? You have a record of the time that you've that you have left to cover. You're comfortable with that. Well, what do you your, mean? Your the time that you were making up or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'll deal with it. I know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're, you, we wouldn't have known that you were, you know, part-time the first, <laughs> first six or eight months that you were with us. So we know you put yeah. your time in, that's for sure. I just want to make sure you're yeah. comfortable with it. It's about nine hours. I figure about nine hours I put in between setting up this hearing and doing the mailing for it and setting up the agenda mm -hmm. for the last, the last meeting. Okay. So I don't know how I'm going to deal with that, but I'll, I'll work on that somehow. But more important than that, how are you feeling? Good? Yeah, I feel fine now. Good. Wonderful. I'm well, glad to have you back. Um, all the uh, swelling and redness is just about gone. The swelling's gone. So. All right. Good. All right. Um, planning board comments? Anyone? At this time, Mr. Chairman, um, I did try to get um, information from our uh, neighbor, neighboring town of Charlton on their overlay district uh, bylaw and uh, found out that their town planner is on vacation until next Monday, which should be the 31st, I believe. He's back. So I will try to get over there first thing on Monday and uh, talk to him. I did also look up online to see if I could find it myself in their zoning bylaws and it appears that their zoning bylaw that's published online goes up to like 2014 2015 and this was something they put in in 2016 so obviously it's not there um and uh but i think uh i get over there monday monday or tuesday the latest of next week 
get that information from them uh, in paper format, hopefully, or even if you can email it to me, then I can forward it on to Don. And um, we've already had some some other people express interest in helping with the uh, with, with a pr new proposed bylaw for that. So I think it'll be uh, once we get the information and figure out how to do it. I don't think it will be a, a a large task to uh, put it together. Mm -hmm. We've been working that over the month too. Yeah. Yeah. Because it would be it would be great to have it ready for the next town meeting and then get it approved. So we'd have to propose the bylaw, put it, get it on the warrant, and then uh, if it passes that town meeting, then it would, and the attorney general accepts it, which I'm assuming they would if they've already done it for Charlton, mm -hmm. um, then we could uh, then we could get it put into our bylaws. And uh, I know there's at least two other applicants that are looking for solar fields or solar arrays in zones other than industrial, mm -hmm. and maybe. Their their situation is in a is a a better a better area even though it's not zoned right it may be in a better area for that type of use mm -hmm. so um, do you know anything about it is it an overlay zone that's that's sort of not not specific it's in the text but um, any time that someone goes to do it the overlay zone will have to be approved by town meetings that is that the type of thing <coughs> well I think. Yeah, it may be it may be that way. I don't know. I don't know the specific thing because I do remember when, when they did it for the company that I work for, there was you, you had to go. They asked the people who lived in Charlton to go to the town meeting and vote on two different questions. One was to approve the, the to approve the zoning bylaw, and the other one was to approve the, that particular parcel of land. Okay. So that may have it, that may have to come up. So it may. For applicants, they may only have two times a year where they can propose this, you know. So if that's the case, then we may want to let the, the other two applicants know mm -hmm. that if they want to propose it, they could propose it at the same town meeting. So if the, you'd have to vote on the bylaw first, because if right. the bylaw doesn't pass, then you can't vote on the individual sites. Right. So it could be done at the same town meeting, but it's probably some probably the way it's worded is that the text is there, but it's not specific on the map until the town meeting votes. Is map change? Okay, it's probably what it is. Well, no, I think it's I think it's the way the way I understood it, the the applicants can be from any zone. It's it yeah, it's, it right. covers the whole town. Um, it allows any parcel to be brought before the the town meeting for approval for a, a purpose. In this particular case, this purpose was for medical device development, design, research, and manufacturing. Um, because the piece of property that abutted uh, the factory where I work was agricultural land, and it wasn't it wasn't zoned for any kind of industry. But the piece that we were on was originally zoned agricultural too. And at one point in time, it got changed so they could build a factory, and now they just want to expand to the next lot. And this is this is how Charlton handled it. Mm -hmm. So my thinking was, if they're doing it for this type of application, we could maybe use it. We could use the same type of bylaw and use it as an application for the solar. Or for, we could maybe even use it for, for any kind of green energy initiative. Like if somebody wanted to do solar or they wanted to do a windmill or something like that, we could make it make it a blanket bylaw so that we wouldn't have to mm -hmm. deal with every individual thing that comes up on a on a case by case basis. It will cover kind of cover us in the future for whatever else may come up. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody wants to put in geothermal or a hydroelectric plant or something like that. We could we could. We could list it as like green energy, and, and you know. Mm -hmm. that no, that's it. good. We appreciate you uh, taking that on. Um, the only request that I would have is that you stay in touch with both those applicants and let them know, keep them up up to up to speed on what what you're doing and yeah. where we're at, so we can keep them engaged. Yeah, my 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 f the f the first thing I want to do is run r run this by the Charlton Town Planner because my my expectations is he probably knows more about it than we do because obviously they've already implemented it and they've done it so if he tells me that this is a this is a viable way or or vehicle to mm -hmm. to get this type of thing moving or happening for the town of Dudley then of course I'll definitely talk to those two applicants I don't want to you know necessarily raise all the hopes and then have them not be up, be upset with us because we couldn't get it done but you know my 
my outlook is, is as a reasonable person, if they could do it for this particular situation, we should be able to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we're changing the we're changing the, uh, the the criteria slightly, but I don't think it's that far out of the, out of the realm of what what they were doing in Charlton that we couldn't do it here. So hopefully that you know, and I I don't even know. I'm assuming it passed with the attorney general's approval because my company did buy the piece of land next to us <laughs> for a large sum of money. So um, I'm assuming that it passed the attorney general. So if it, if it didn't, then that's another issue. But well, if it's if it's in their current what is it? It's already a current bylaw for them, so it has to be right. Well, it's not. It's not. Like I said, their their online bylaws stopped at like around 2014, 15. Oh. This was something that was enacted in 2016. Okay. So I don't know if it's in their current bylaw or not. I don't have a printed copy. What and what's online is okay. is backdated. So, right. I'm you know I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday I'll get all that information and then if that's the case I will contact the other two applicants and okay. forward it off to everybody. All right, great. Anything else? That's it. There was one other item. Uh, apparently, one of the neighbors to um, the college. Nichols College. Yeah, I got, got a lot of flooding in that, that sort of freak storm that we had a couple weeks ago, which was really not a designed storm of any kind. Right. Just, we got that essentially flood. washed about two tons of rocks out from the side of the town hall here into the neighbor's yard. And a lot of other things like that, too. Uh -huh. So the town administrator and I went there this morning and took a look at it. And, the property and the Nichols property, and I think they're uh, they'll be getting back to us on on that. And, um, just just we, we just wanted to bring it to just wanted to bring it to our attention, basically. And let us know that, that it happened. Mm -hmm. I, well, think, I think probably that they just roll right over the curbings and all kinds of things, and that that storm was just so intense. Yeah, actually, the letter indicated that there was interest in um, having someone pay for the damage. Isn't that right? Yeah. I mean, it was that's a public one letter. That's for insurance companies. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. If I could interrupt real quick. Yeah. Um, I wasn't here even when that storm hit. What um, property is this or address? So, I don't know the address. It's the bottom of the hill. What's the... On Healy, Healy Road. Road Healy Road. Healy Road. Okay. Yeah, it's almost near Williams Farm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. It's for the public property. If, if, if it's from Healy Road, I, I'll certainly talk to the highway superintendent about that and see what, what transpired on that. But I think. Yeah. No. no, there's been a lot of discussion. Um, certainly, Guy, you've been involved as well as myself um, in you know the development of Nichols College essentially and um, you know the statement that I would stand by is you know obviously when Nichols does anything they do it 100% by the book it's always you know if it's ever done um, outside of the means it's overdone um, and the only other comment that I'll make is is that in a storm like that without a detention basin could have been significantly worse. Uh, I mean, that's the, I haven't been there, haven't seen it, but I have seen, you know, uh, damage that storms do. And te technically when, or typically when, uh, when developments are built, they're built to current standards as opposed to having no standards at all mm -hmm. in a natural hill, water rolls downhill, but anyway. I mean, it's we got about three inches of rain in about two hours. Yeah, so I heard. Yeah. Comes down to. I didn't realize there was uh, physical damage left by it. Was it was significant. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, you, you, your 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 uh, engineering guidelines for for building anything new like that they always they always plan on a hundred year storm. <coughs> that was probably in excess of a hundred year storm, and that's what happened in all these all these catch basins and and uh, detention basins overflowed. The amount of rain that was that would yep. normally fall over a 24-hour period fell in a two-hour period. But in the same respect, it still did happen, and you know we've got uh, a town resident that uh, is in a tough situation, and so obviously we want to 
support that as best we can. Um, you know, I think that it's important that we feel, you know, confident that we did the right thing and making sure that uh, the that the construction that was done there was done properly and to the letter of the law. So. Well, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, anything else? No audience comments. Our next meeting is scheduled for Wednesday, August 9th at 7 p.m. Mr. Chairman, motion to adjourn. Seconded. Okay, we've got a, a motion and a second to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Thank you, Fred. 740.